Hi everyone, I'm Craig Muirhead from pipingclub.com and today we're going to learn how to play a D throw on the chanter which you would then take on to the bagpipes. Um, so the D throw is one of the pieces of ornamentation on the bagpipes and it sounds quite impressive when you play it full speed which I'll do for you now. But don't be daunted by that, we're going to break it down into really easy steps and get you playing your D throw as well. And before I start, I'd just like to do my usual and thank my employers at Strathallan School, where I'm the Director of Pipe and Drumming, for letting me put these videos together in the lockdown of 2021. Um, and just to draw your attention to the Piping Club website, pipingclub.com, where you can find lots of resources to keep yourself busy uh, on the chanter. And as always, keep in touch by emailing me at info at pipingclub.com or on social media, Twitter at Craig Muirhead or Facebook at Craig Muirhead Music. Okay, so we're going to break these D throws down and we're going to start on low A, which is just, it's not part of the movement, the, the throw movement, it's just the note we're going to start on. It's very simple this way I'm going to teach you to play it because it's only four notes and you play them evenly. There are other ways to play D throws, but this is, I think, uh, the, the easiest way to get your head around it. So we're on low A, and then we go to low G, D, C, and back to D, and that's the end of the movement. Now we're obviously playing it really slowly just now. I want you to make sure that every single note of the four notes in the movement is equal at this point. So we're just starting on low A, as our starting note, this is not one of the four notes, and we go and we'll try that again from low A, nice and slow. What I should say as well is you'll find the uh, PDF for the D throws by signing up at pipingclub.com on the already play section. Uh, so you'll find what you need there. But let's try that again. So we're starting in low A, we're playing low G, D, C, D. Back to low A. Keeping it nice and slow like that now we're going to start we're going to start on the second note of the scale now the b okay and same movement you play your b nice and long and then you play low g d c d good stuff now we're going to try it from c same movement See, these four notes of the movement are really even all the time. We're going to miss out D and go straight to E now. And it's the same thing, dropping these two fingers down to low G, D, C and D. So from E, with a D throw. Good stuff. Up to F. If you're finding it hard to get from F all the way to low G, just try and relax your fingers, not tense them up because that won't help matters at all. So high G now, the penultimate note. And finishing off on high A. Great stuff. So bringing the, the speed of the movement up a little bit now, we're going to do the same again. Um, now, if you're not ready to do this, don't feel you have to move on yet. Keep practicing them really slowly and get that you know, equal spread between each note of the movement. But now we'll try it a little bit up in tempo for those who feel they can. 
uh, and we're thinking about this sort of tempo. Still making sure they're all nice and even. So from low A. And B. C. To E. Now F. And to finish off, now keep going over them at that sort of tempo until eventually, quite naturally, you'll be able to play your D throws. Well that's it for D-Throws today, so thanks uh, for logging on to the video. Remember to sign up at pipingclub.com and you'll have access to lots of resources there. Keep in touch on the email and on social media and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.